Shuttle EMV Sharon is now docked. Sector 1 empowered and pressurized. Munchy decontamination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie Protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. YouTube! What's going on guys? It's your boy Decades. We are back. This is a demo that I got off of you, um, Steam, and I saw it before. I think I saw it last year. It's been on my wish list um, since I discovered the game. And I never got a chance to play the demo before. I know they released it, but I didn't get a chance to play it. But now I snagged it real quick. I think this is the last day of the, I think, Steam Fest. Or, um, there's some type of Steam survival, horror, demos, things like that that are out. So I wanted to go ahead and give this a try. 
Anyway, I played the game for about 20, 30 minutes, not even, and I liked it, so I decided to go ahead and start over and start recording so you guys can check this game out. I love it. Um, I, I, this is, I like the fact that they even read. of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada yada yada. And then, you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos' focus on the Tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. Okay, if you if you guys notice, I put up here what's called a workshop. Now actually, this is called a stockpile. Sorry. And once you build this you have to tell it what you want to collect and at the beginning you want to collect the alloy because a lot of these little s piles see so had this one has 10 this one has 45 that one has 10 so this is all i know so far let's go ahead and move forward um, build a workshop okay we're gonna do that put that um yeah, let's put that right there. Now, I love how it, it was getting ready to tell me to build a stockpile, but I've already done that. And it was going to tell me to select alloy. I've already done that. And it automatically clicked. It automatically noticed that. And it moved forward. Some demos or just some games, period. When you're doing a tutorial, if you're familiar with the tutorial, but you just want to re-familiarize yourself with it and you jump forward, it completely confuses it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, 
Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of wool jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a wool jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. I kind of like this here. This reminds me of Frostpunk. They were the first ones that I remember to do things like this where, you know, they show a picture and what the, the community is requesting and then it gives you the option. Um, to accept it or not because I knew there was going to be another one where I think we can ignore their request but it's okay we're going to go ahead and build that out for them anyway make sure they have something to eat mess hall um, put that right there okay also I want to get these out of the way once they have depleted the actual building, this which has taken up space, will uh, disappear. It'll vanish, and it clears up the space for you. And you, you're limited by how much is actually stored, because you see here the limit is uh, 60. I think the limit is 100. Yeah, max right now is 100. So we have 60 in there. So it'll come then they'll start grabbing more of the uh, buildings that we've already clicked on. Like if I click this, that means that these robots are going to come over here and collect it. But I don't want to collect these yet. I want to get these moved out of the way. Then there's um, food. So I'm going to have to build um, stockpile again. Let's go here. We're going to designate this one for food. That will allow for this one to be collected. All right, this is um, alloy as well. Um, yep. Require 10. Yeah, we, we have all that now. Building not connected to active stockpile assigned to food. Well, it's, it's getting built now, bro. It's, it's okay. And this one is, what is this stuff called? Polymer. So we're going to need that as well. Stockpile for polymer. So stockpile. Um, hmm. Let's go like this. And we'll just do one of these. And then we'll redo it once this disappears. What a wonderful day to embrace your faith, don't you think? I am Henri Bargeli, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi. A ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashton Guides. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashton Guides are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern.
I barely could understand that guy. But I could read it, so I, I know what he said. Um, let's construct a cargo ship and a science ship. So you click here. Here, we're going to do the ask cargo ship first. And we're going to do a science ship. Okay, and they require the polymer, which we now have because I think this is going to be the polymer here. Mm, right there. Yep, so we click that and collect this and collect that. Perfect. Event, uh, construct living spaces for all crew uh, present to a cycle. So see, refuse. There are more pressing. <laughs> yeah. So we'll go ahead and do housing. And it's pretty significant uh, obligation because it requires so many resources and power. Um, oh man, I can't put that in here. I need to go down one. Dang it. Well, I can pull right there. That's three. Hmm. See, they see how these are in the way? To really be able to line them up right here, because this is where I would have gone right here, right down this line. But you can't, so let me put one right here. I'll put one right here as well. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Five times 15 is what, 70? 75? Yeah, 75. And uh, how many people do we have? 79. Ah, bastards, we have to put one more. Um. Hmm. Um, man, I wish they would get out of the way. Anyway, all right, let's go over here. There. Try to keep the edges clear. Okay, so the science, let's do fleet management. This needs to go collect food. Mining ships. I didn't build a mining ship. Hmm. There we are. So, we'll do you and go here. Resolve. So when you click on your science ship and these arrows appear, you have to left click because if you right click, nothing happens. And then once your ship arrives at its destination, then you have to click here to view the events. Um, that's a uh, what da, 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 the basis out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and may be used to restore power. There is an average probability of finding resources. Okay, transmission from the Copernix team. We have reached the UN base using the provided coordinates. It is abandoned and depressurized, but the video surveillance system is still functional, awaiting orders. Let's exploit the security vulnerability. Let's try that. Okay. Go back here. Mm, yeah, tutorial views. Yeah, we've. Yeah, F1, F2, F3. Camera. Eh, I don't need to do that. What is this here? Notification, science ship, copper, neck, arrived at me. Okay. Okay, all that's done. So now we have all of the. Perfect. That's all done. Resolve the moon event via, okay, let's go here, click, and data, dismantle camp, okay, science will be collected after event completion, perfect, alright, let's straighten that up a little bit, and 
and what do we have? We have polymer. Next, we're gonna have to do health structure, docking bay. No, we don't need that. We're gonna need infirmary. Let's do that. What else we're gonna need? Factories, tech lab, housing, and we're gonna need one of these. Mm. There. A science team has completed a task. Okay. Science ship teams to here. You found 30 science collect and data listening protocol. Collecting science, but it also has to be this has to be connect uh, collected. The alloy, I mean, yeah, alloy. So, I think what I have to do is go back in here, go to fleet. And tell it to go collect the alloy. Now, if it's solid like this, that's maximum priority. You click it twice, it's medium priority. Click it three times, it's the lowest priority. So that'd be my third time clicking it. You click it again, it's off. So one, two, three, that's the lowest priority. Click it again, it's off. So main one is going to be resources. Yeah, I'll leave that. It's just as important. Oh, got it right. Got it already. So I can take that off. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Wait, how did I do that? How did I click into the space view from there? Didn't know I could do that. All right. So those are collecting the alloys. How much alloy do we have? We're down to two. Why aren't these being collected? I'm waiting on these to be wiped out before these get collected. I don't want to click on these yet. What's that? Um, yeah, I think all of these need to be collected first. So is this one because I clicked on it. Psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague Philip Stanford couldn't be here today, so I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Okay. Technology upgrades. Yeah, we gotta build that. That's what that's what's being built down here. I already knew that. So that's why I had them jump on it already. And what else we need to do? Um oh yeah, we're gonna have to research. We have to wait for this to get done. Here's the external view of our ship as it is now, or base or whatever you want to call it. Our space station. And as you can see there, I don't see any solar panels on this. It says there's some, but I don't see any. But we will see some though. Once I build them out. But as you, I don't see any solar panels. 
So, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Up here, it says power is provided by the station's solar panels and is used to empower every building within the tycoon. But yet, I don't see any. Hmm. I really like the way this looks. That looks good. Wait, this is. You have the earth in the background. That's pretty sweet. I like this. Anything that's graphically nice, you 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 immediately have my attention. That's what I like. I like things that are really really nice looking, really pretty. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, let's go back. See what we need to get done. They're taking their sweet time. Let's speed this up real quick. And two, three, four, and that'll be it. Five, perfect. Well, let's keep it moving until it's almost done. Because you see, this dude has to come and build it. I like the little animations. I like that as well. That looks really good. And the same thing happens on the outside of the ship as well when you start building on the outside of the ship. I love the animations that they have. <laughs> Little dude on a robot. I like that. Has his little mech guy. Alright, so. Tech produces uh, one every five cycles. And we need to do EVA airlock. Research. Get out of here. There we go. Okay. So that's being done. These are still in the way. And so is this. But something that I learned quickly is within this view here this insect farm is huge once you do this because I, I did this and then I did that and I didn't end up using this probe launcher so but I did end up almost dying or, or losing because I ran out of food so I ended up researching this and building two of these and I got out of the crisis just in the nick of time. So we'll we'll build this next. Well, we'll research this next. Let's go ahead and speed that up. So you guys don't have to wait that long. Get that done. Alright, there we go. Let's see what else is. Build an EVA airlock. Yeah, exactly. So that's when. See, these things are in the way, bro. Okay, I only have nine energy left. Um, and I know when I build this EV, um, that airlock is going to kill off our power. But because the airlock is there, we'll be able to then to con do construction on the outside. All right. So before we do that, though, we want to come here. And now that this is done, we want to do the insect farm. We want to do that. Get this researched first. Once this is done being researched, we're gonna cut this off because you can cut you can cut this off the power, and that power goes back into the uh, the power grid. So we'll do that. And what else? And the reason why these aren't being collected is usually because it's full. Right there, as you can see, is full right there. So let's. Do another construction stockpile. Okay. Let's do that. And yeah, let's just do one. Let's see if that connects this. I think it will right off here just with this one. Yep, perfect.
and then once this is done it'll start collecting like this one this one this one, all these here will be collected as well because I haven't clicked if it still has a little icon above it that means I haven't told the robots to come and collect from this pile see there it goes those two are done now it's bringing all the alloy from these that's awesome so we're at 100 here and then we're going to be able to put 100 down here mm, yeah so we'll be able to collect all these um, this is just the food so we don't have to really worry about that yet but we do have the insect farm being researched so that's good although for whatever reason during my demo this right here which is the supply supply depot more food became available but yet my fleet this dude here wouldn't go get it i wouldn't wouldn't go get it i don't know what his problem was <laughs> I don't know or maybe he was uh, maybe once i no 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 that wouldn't be it i was getting ready to say maybe because i researched the insect farm that canceled out that ship's ability to go out and find food but i didn't do the insect f the insect farm until that ship wouldn't go out and get the food so that's what that's what put me into the crisis Okay, so what are we waiting on? Um, because it wants me to build the EVGA airlock, but I don't want to do that yet because we're waiting. This has alloy. Let's collect. All right, let's fast forward. See how many we have. There we go. We should start seeing these buildings disappear. Come on. Get those out of the way. There, there's one got out of the way come on get all those out of the way perfect 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 awesome 65 yep should be good awesome Perfect. Perfect. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete these roads. We don't need these anymore. Okay. Then I'm going to build structure airlock. Oh, there we go. We're going to build it here. We'll go from here straight down. That's fine. And then we can build from here straight to there. Okay. Um, what did it, it said? Something was asking my attention. General, nope. What is this? Technology insect farm has been unlocked. Okay, perfect. We're f still full of food, so we don't need to activate that yet. What is this? Event available. Oh, request additional staff from the. Huh? Reports are being received relating to the client brought on the board and they indicate that the crew members are being overworked. Although the employee can try, okay, it would be problematic to deploy additional care. Okay, care reduced the number of concurrent active workplaces. Now, working a few more hours when, okay, request additional staff from the, yeah, let's do that. Just from the enter, there we go. Bring the new workers from the, on the board. Of the, uh, what, how do I do that? Oh, okay. So do I do the fleet? There. 
Okay. Now let's go see. Yep, perfect. I'm just gonna take you over here to Mars. Perfect. Okay, so now we have how many on it? Uh, we need more buildings. Oops. Okay, let's pause this here. Let's go insect farm. Need to get that in. Okay. And then we need to do, because the insect farm takes four cycles. These here. Takes four of these to create 32 food. Or insects and this converts to food. All right. Um, but, oh, housing. We need to put more housing right here. That'd be good enough. Okay. And then we have six. We can turn this off. How much research points? We have 62. Um, this put, yeah, there we go. That gives us 18. Yeah, I think this, this big ginormous thing takes, yeah, 12. Okay, so I shouldn't hit the power grid like I did last time. Last time I put this in and boom, everything shut down. Whole screen turned red. Thought we were, thought we had hit apocalypse or something. Okay, well, science ship, there we are. Um, the UN has established a facility on Mars. They are currently lacking the materials. We have submitted the request. Okay, let's do repair the fault in exchange for resources. Repair the oxygen supply system in exchange for research data. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do this. And yes. All right. There we go. We're good. We are good. And our ship will go over there and take care of those guys. No worries. We are rolling. We just turned this off. We don't need to delete it. Um, oh, man. My first. <laughs> I went to delete this and forgot to um, deselect the delete function. And I made a mistake and deleted this. Oh, that, that just. I ended my demo then. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead because I had already decided that I was going to create this video for you guys. So I just I ended it once I did that because it was like there was no way to get this back because it was asking for once I deleted this, it was asking for more polymer and electronics. And so far in the day, I haven't been able to get any electronics. So I don't know if that's like later in the demo or how long the demo even is. Overwork, yeah, we're familiar. Um, science, yep, we got that taken care of. I really wouldn't mind having two of these ships. Um, but I really don't want to jump the gun, though. Because I think in order to build this, is 20 more polymer, and we only have 50. And I don't know what else is going to be required. So, we'll just sit tight for a bit. Engine has been unlocked. Oh, that's because this is going. Okay, perfect. Construct the vault engine. No, we don't need to do that, bro. Not yet. Um, we won't do that yet. We want to go to the external view, and now we can do this. Okay. And we can do the solar panel set one. We're going to do these. There we go. And yeah, that's the 10 polymer. There. And that's pretty sweet because these are going to be built um, like right in here. Let's see if I can speed that up um, and see where, oops, where is it being? Right there. See how I, I love the animation. I love this. That's awesome. Reminds me of uh, X4, how things just start to slowly appear as being built. I really like that. Okay, so we have 20 now. And what, let's pause this. What else did it say? Um, science ship. Yep, collect. 
Perfect. And because we have Saturn to go to. And so far that's it. Once this is done. I don't know what I don't know what that means. That's not 30 cycles. There's no way. So I don't I don't know how long that's going to take. Alright. And what else? We have have this going. We have one of these can feed up to 500 people. Yeah, right here. 500 people. And we only have 115, 105. So we're good. We are good. And now we have this. And we're fully stocked at 100. That's awesome. Uh, we have 40 there. I don't know in sector max and station. I don't know if there's any way to increase this, the carbon. Um, I did, the first time I played, I did this and I made a miner. But I don't think the miner ever did anything. So I just kind of wasted it, wasted those resources. So I'm just kind of, just going to follow the tutorial for now um, I think we're good to go ahead and build out that engine that they're asking for we have 20 and we only have 40 of the polymer left so let's go ahead and construct special 100 okay let's do 100 of those well I mean one of those and let's do 15 yeah I think we should be good with that there, that'll give us even more. Ooh, let's see if we can see how it's going to be built. Now, I never completed this. This is as far as I got. So anything beyond this point, I got to the point where I was getting ready to collect this to tell the the robots to build this, and I made a mistake and deleted the uh, <laughs> the first docking bay, and that just kind of sent me in a in a bad direction. So I restarted. So let's go ahead and let's fast forward and let's see how long this is going to take. Oh, only 11. What's up with that? Let's go in here and see. We have none. Good. Let's collect the rest of these. I like it. I like it. All right, let's go back. Fast forward, and let's see how this is going to be built. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be built back here because this is where the engine is, right? It wouldn't be built on the front, I don't think. Zoom out a little bit. Let's see if we can get a good look. Yeah, that's pretty freaking sweet. Look at that. I love it. I love the animation of that. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Incoming transmission. Hmm. Okay. A new request awaits your attention. Please ensure they have suitable accommodations. Okay. End of transmission. So before we do anything else, let's push pause. We're going to put down new housing. Um, let's do one, two, and three. And also, let's do food, structure, no, it's 
stockpile. That's what we need. Okay. Let's do this. And let's do from here to here. Here to here. Here to here. Here to here. Let's put this from here to here. Let's delete this. Then we'll put roads from here to here. Yeah, that works. Um, yep, that works for now. Okay. So... Hmm, what is this event available? Um, commit to building two insect farms in eight cycles. Food supplies are dwindling. What? What are you talking about? We have plenty. We're overrun with food, bro. Bring the remaining workers from the... Uh, oh, that's 100. Okay, so let's, let's slow this down for a second. We have one. Let's go ahead and do food, insect farm. Let's do another one right here. And then we'll do like this. Okay. And one, two, three. That's not enough for 100 people. So I'm moving to where we can't have upgrade these. So we'll do here. One. Two, three, four. That's good. And then, um, this should be gone pretty soon. I'm thinking, what is this? Alloy. We only have seven alloy. I mean, what is this getting ready to be? Stockpile small. Um, yeah, we have plenty. This is going to be food. That's food and... This one's food. Okay. That works. This should be going pretty soon. And then I'll take the road straight across for the housing. Okay, bring the remaining workers from the... Okay, I did, I did that, right? Mm, I think. Yeah, I did that, okay. Because we did that in you no know, fleet management. Yes, and yes. Okay, it's so only bringing 50 food. That's good, but the 100 workers have me concerned. So that's why we have to get... All of these done. Um, let's do this and set high priority. That way the robot guy should come over here and do this one next. No, I guess not. Yeah, there he is. Right there. Good job, robot dude. Way to listen. Yep, that's awesome. Okay, and then we have the farm over here. Getting ready after this one. Perfect. Oh, I thought he was getting ready to leave. When I click this as high priority, I'm like, no. <laughs> All right, so this is good now. Awesome.
Okay. Um, crew quarters. Yeah, we won't worry about you because this should be gone within the next couple of seconds. Come on. Perfect. Now we'll do roads and here to here. Perfect. That works. And then what I would do is put more people down here. The different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. Hmm. Let's now start the vol bonding procedure. Vol bonding. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others like Dolos who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light, and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. That's a whole lot of pressure, bro. It's <laughs> a whole lot of pressure. Move the uh, tycoon into orbit of the moon. Hmm. External construction. Multiple EVA airlocks will speed up exterior act. Okay. Multiple. I don't know if I want to run multiple, but we'll see. To manage the exterior destination, click on the tycoon icon in the... All right. So we have... Do we have everything we need? And what about this? If I turn this back on, what else can we be researching? Anything else? Let's do this one now. Because it's in here for a reason. But look at all this. Man, this game's going to be awesome. A lot of fun. Train station? Wow. Drone bay. Waste treatment. Nuclear power. Water treatment. Fusion station. Electronics factory. And then you have question marks. Oh, wow, this is going to be a lot. Of, this is going to be a blast. All right, let's go here. Let's do Tycoon, Orbit of the Moon. Okay, let's do this. Confirm Tycoon movement during the O2 cycle. Tycoon movement EK engines will require all power available. While this occurs, batteries will take over the role of powering sectors if present. Powering sectors? 
Huh? Hmm. Probes. A probe launcher is required to be able to send out probes. Well, that's sweet. Administrator. More than 50% of the Tycoon's population are Latin quarters. What? 50%? What are you talking about? Oh, that was because it took all the battery power. Okay. Initiate a vol jump via the button in the planetary system map. Planetary system map. Initiate a vol jump via the button in the planetary... What button? Oh. Vol engine... During the 0.5 cycle charging procedure, uh, the engine will require all power available. While this occurs, batteries will take over the role of powering sectors if present. No. Okay, so let's go back. Let's. What? Where are these batteries you're talking about? Can we have bat? I don't see batteries. What batteries? I don't even see those as being able to be researched. Um, maybe they don't need to be researched. Let's go out of here. Let's go into this and structure. What is this? Probe launcher? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Let's do that. Check out the probe launcher, see what it does. Docking bay, EVA airlock, food, health, factories. We have that tech lab housing, we have those. Okay. Sector one is now specialized. No shade vault jump. Don't want to do that yet. And we have 100 there. See, we only have 25 polymer, and we have no other way of getting polymer. That's what I don't... Hmm. And I have no other way. Let's do this. Can I build one of these? No, I only have... Yep, let's build one of these. Let's just take a chance. And let's see if I can somehow get that to collect SI. And I don't... Let's see. Where is my... Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Okay, what's... Um, here, let's, do, let's go to Saturn. Yeah, you go over there. Uranus, um, Neptune, Mercury, Venus. Okay. So we're here again. This is getting ready to be long, uh, completed. Maybe this can help us to locate silicon. All right. Construction crew, no time. Auto build. Build probe. Ooh. We have none? Oh, okay, we have one. Got it. So now we have zero polymer. President resource moving to the polymer. Okay, uh, by transforming carbon into polymer. Docking platform, one of these. What is toggle probe launch view? Oh, probe scanner. Oh, okay. We need SI, bro.
Well, that's not good. What the heck? Can't get anything else? Hmm. Well, this was rich here. But I don't really know what it... Well, we'll see. We'll see what that does. But that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for SI. Alright, so... We have... Our science ship going over here. And we have a probe. Perfect. Signature resembling the guy detected. Da, 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 da. Records indicate that the company has not been deployed to the sector. The signature will soon enter the atmosphere. Uh, send a team to investigate. Okay. And so again, guys, I'm trying to come up with. And again, this is a demo, so I don't know if this is even possible to get silicon in the demo. Um. Yeah, because there's. There's nothing, bro. Sector one. Let's go here. There. Let's see if you can go get something. Okay, so where is he going? This is going over here. Unauthorized access. Waiting for a science ship. By proceeding beyond this point, you are breaching the terms of your contract with the LSAFC. Further access can and will result in summary dismissal. What? Unauthorized access. Wow. Okay. So that was a complete waste. Maybe that's just a demo? I don't know. Don't know. But it was a waste. So, let's go back here. And no connected stop power has enough polymer. And that's for what? Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do, bro. We're going to dismantle you. So. Mm, put all your stuff back because you are unauthorized and you're going to get us arrested. And see what happens over here. This is point eight. What I'm trying to do is come up with batteries because when we jump, it says that all the power goes to the ship. And that means that the people have no place to live. Everything gets shut down. So it said it'll run off batteries if connected. And I don't see how to connect anything to a battery. I don't know how that works. Hmm. Enter data listening protocol. Summary of intelligence of the protocol rocket sent to the uh, same degree of variation of it. We have stripped it down to recover information on schematics and resources. Let's do that. How long is that going to take? 20. Okay. Power. So how do you build batteries? If. It says here. All power available. While this occurs, batteries will take over the role of powering sectors if present. Batteries in sectors. So maybe I have to do it in sectors. Um, but 
I don't see any way. That's troubleshoot, uh, data listening, resource management, population. I don't see a way of constructing batteries. Sending construction mechs to... Hmm. Well, I don't think we need that. Stockpile. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to tell, maybe I have to set one of these to accept this. And maybe that's why we haven't received any. Don't know. What is this? Waste, hydrogen, electronics. And fleet, we have this on SI. Mining ship. Okay, and I don't see a mining ship out here. I know we can do things with this science ship, but the mining ship is not available. So I'm thinking it has something to do with just with the demo because it won't even show up. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we really don't have a choice. But to just move forward. Um. Outer hope. Out. Outer hope out of sight. Let's go here. We're not going to mess with this. Because it says that we're going to be dismissed, basically, if we go over there messing around. All right, we'll do that. And, yeah, might as well. Let's do it. Okay. Void charge. Let's see what happens. But I wonder why we can't build batteries if it takes up all of our power. Ships will automatically return to the tycoon before leaving the system, yes. Nice. Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A 
mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine. Um, that wasn't good. Looks like, uh, you didn't make it out of there. Vol jump complete. Congratulations, Administrator, on the first successful test of the Vol engine. The morale of the Tycoon crew is high as they prepare for the next step in, of their journey. Well, I already have it on the wish list. Back to main menu. Alright, guys, that's it. Yeah, I, I really couldn't do anything else. Um... I might replay it. I'm not going to record it at all, but I want to see what will happen if I do the probe and go visit the probe and see if I get like arrested or something. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, I'm definitely going to buy this as soon as it comes out. It's and put it on onto the uh, channel because I like I love sort of games like this. This is awesome. It, it looks really good, really fluid, laid out well. T um, tutorials really nice. I knew exactly what to do. I knew exactly what to keep go how to keep going. It was awesome. So. Highly recommend it, guys. It's your boy, Dakase, putting that work. Hope you guys appreciate this game. Like the game. If not, hey, boom, I'll bring you something new next week. I'm thinking I'll kind of rotate games on Sundays. I'm still kind of coming up with a, a, a permanent schedule. Um, but I know that's going to be ever-evolving because once Starfield comes out, that's probably going to dominate my channel. Seriously. I cannot wait for that. I'm, I'm counting the days that that game comes out. Um... So, but until then, I'm going to, yeah, I like to try different demos and I've tried a bunch of different demos, guys, that I haven't even put on the channel because it, either the tutorial is really bad. I just didn't like the game. So, and I don't really want to give anybody any bad press. So just because I don't like it doesn't mean somebody else won't like, uh, w would like it. So I don't want to go down that road. I don't really want to just put things on the uh, channel that I like or that, that kept me interested at least, you know, past 20, 30 minutes. So. Anyway, that's it, guys. Until next episode, you guys have a phenomenal day. Positive energy. Put that out to the universe. It's your boy. And a man.